In the last lecture, we saw what are causal and what are non-causal systems. And now in this lecture, we are going to solve few problems based on causal and non-causal systems. In the first problem, system output is yt and it is equal to x3t. So you can clearly see we have performed the time scaling. Signal xt was given to a system and then we have output yt which is equal to x 3t. So output yt is equal to time scaled version of input xt and there is time scaling by 3 because of the system we are using. Now we need to find out what is the type of this system whether it is causal or non-causal and to do this we will first take t equal to 0. When t is equal to 0 the output will be y0 and it will be equal to x0. So the present output is dependent on the present input. So you will say the system is causal. But if we take t equal to 1, then output will be y1 and it will be equal to x3. So t is equal to 1 and with respect to this y1 will be present output because we have 1 here same as t equal to 1. But x3 which is the input is having t equal to 3. So with respect to t equal to 1 this will become future input. So the present output is equal to the future input. That's why the system is non-causal. So don't only check for t equal to 0. Check for other values of time also. Now we will move to the second problem. In the second problem yt is defined like this when t is less than 0 when t is negative the definition of y3 is like this x3t and when t is greater than or equal to 0 then yt is equal to xt minus 1 this problem is very easy as we have already seen what will happen when yt is equal to x3t so for the case when t is less than 0 when t is less than 0 we will have yt equal to x3t and let's make t equal to minus 1 this is less than 0 so we will have y minus 1 equal to x minus 3 so the present output is depending on the past input with respect to t equal to minus 1 minus 3 is the past or previous time therefore this is past input so this time the system is causal and if you take any value of t less than 0 you will find the relationship which will indicate that the system is causal so for the first case the system is causal but we have to check for the other case also because this is the complete definition of the system and for the other case when t is greater than or equal to 0 let's take t equal to 0 first yt is equal to xt minus 1 so we will have y0 equal to x minus 1 so this time also the present output is dependent on the past input so the relationship is indicating that the system is causal now we will check when t is equal to 1 this time we will have y1 equal to x0 so again the input is passed as compared to the output y1 is the present output and with respect to this x0 is the past input. So again the system is causal. So in all the cases we have seen that the system is causal in nature therefore the answer is causal. So we have done everything similar to the first problem we have substituted different values of time to find out if the system is causal or non-causal but in this case we got system as non-causal for the same relationship we got non-causal and here when t is less than 0 the relationship is same but the system is causal this is because t is always going to be negative in this scenario also when you take t equal to minus 1 for example let's take t equal to minus 1 you will have y minus 1 equal to x minus 3 so from here you can see the present output is depending on the past input so from here you will see the relationship is causal right from 
here also we got the relationship as causal because the output was dependent on the present input but when t is equal to 1 when t is positive when t is greater than 0 for all these cases you will find the relationship is non causal and we already know from the definition if at any one instant of time the system output is dependent on the future values of input the system is going to be non causal and in this case we are having infinite number of instance at which the system output is dependent on the future values of input so the system is non causal but in second problem when t is greater than 0 or equal to 0 output yt is not equal to x3t it is equal to xt minus 1 and this is because the second system is causal in nature so i hope you now understand how to check if this system is causal or non-causal check for all the different possibilities otherwise you will miss some point and your answer will not be correct now let's move to the third problem in the third problem output yt is equal to sine t plus 1 multiplied to x t minus 1 this problem is not difficult as we have already discussed that sine t plus 1 is a coefficient is a coefficient and we don't have to worry about this t plus 1 here because if you see this t plus 1 then you will say the system is non-causal because t plus 1 will give you future values of input but as t plus 1 is in the coefficient we don't have to worry about it we only have to focus on the input which is x t minus 1 so you can follow the same process you can select a different time instance for example let's say t is equal to 0 we will have y 0 equal to sine 1 multiplied to x minus 1 you can see the present output is depending on the past input therefore we have the causal nature from this result let's make t equal to minus 1 you will have y minus 1 equal to sine 0 and here you will have x minus 2 again you will find the present output is depending on the past input so we have the causal nature let's make t equal to 1 some positive value you will have y1 equal to sine 2 this time and input will be x0 so this time also the present output is depending on the past input therefore we have the causal nature so in all the different cases we have the causal nature therefore the system is going to be causal now let's move to the next problem and after this i will give you homework problems there are three homework problems in this lecture in the fourth problem output yt is equal to x inside the bracket e raised to power t now this time e raised to power t is not coefficient because it is the variable for the input so let's see how we can solve this problem we will make t equal to 0 so we have y 0 equal to x e raised to power 0 is equal to 1 so we will have x of 1 and for the first time instant t equal to 0 which we have taken you can see the present output is depending on the future input this is future input so there is no need to check for other instance of time as we have got one instant of time at which the present output is depending on the future input so you can directly write down the answer as non-causal now let's move to the homework problems there are three homework problems in the first homework problem output yt is equal to x sin t in the second homework problem output yt is equal to x t by 4 and in the last homework problem the third one output yt is equal to e raised to power 2t x t minus 1 so these are the three homework problems and you need to find out if the systems are causal or non-causal and once you have your answer post it in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one